99 out the Firth Park Tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to episode 173 of Around the Grounds. Today, yeah my hair's not on point, but uh, that doesn't matter. It's Newport versus Leeds in the FA Cup. Mark, what are you thinking? I'm really nervous, but I'm going to stay positive and go <coughs> for... <laughs> I'm going to say positive, go for a 1 or draw. Okay, I'm saying it's going to be 2-1 leads. Tom, your first appearance on the channel in a wee while. What's, right. what's the score going to be, lad? I'm going to say 1-0 as well. Aye. And Frisco Andrew? 2-2. 2-2. Desmond? Aye. Cool. Right, so we're going to go somewhere. No. Frisco Andrew, <laughs> go <to> international. <laughs> right, and Jenna. Usually I'm used to going on like two hour treks to go to a football match. But here in Newport, we've only we're only taking like a ten minute walk. Every day's in a way. It is indeed Danny Dyer. You've got a long way home. Oh yeah, we've got so long. <laughs> we've got like the five past three train and I'm not gonna even get home till like God's half past eleven. And it's same like, man, same very well, isn't it? Uh, I know. Oh well. <laughs> Every day's in a way day, as we say. Of course, welcome to the Rodney Parade. So it's like 10 o'clock, we've not even had breakfast yet, but we're on it. Good sir. This marquee is like it's like you were at a wedding. <laughs> For a start we've got four stands. No question what you put on. You're a sheep mate. You're a sheep. Right, Fraser's just Gone been and a, been on a spree. Yeah. About something whole. Seven programs. That's decent. Why? <laughs> Twelve pounds. Is this going to be a special of your program reviews? Yes. Good <laughs> son. Here. Hey. 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 I've like nine programs in the space of a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's a good haul for you. Jet up. <laughs> Never thought I'd come all the way to Newport to find a motherwell pin badge. That's going right in my jacket. <laughs> Imagine that, only £2.50 as well. well Is that the biggest transfer fee Newport have received yeah. since Regan Poole? No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he gets it. Newport Squash Racket Club! <laughs> well, the biggest Newport Squash Racket Club in Newport. The only, the only Newport Squash <laughs> <laughs> My Rodney Parade debut. Finally, breakfast is served in the form of a burger and chips out, so it's mainly on the floor. Uh, Aye, six pounds for that, might as well be wearing masks, but uh, oh well, bring on the match. Six pounds for a burger and chips. Really, lads, cheers. You've also today the referee's Mike Dean, of all people. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him in action. It, he's, he's done the Gandalf stance, you shall not pass. <laughs>
Matthew with a bullet header and Newport are in sight of a famous, famous FA Cup victory. Andrew with the contraband. That was my first ever game in Wales. Really enjoyed that actually. Ah, uh, but the, both the games we saw this weekend are basically carbon copies of each other, if you think about it that way. Because like, the Aston Villa went ahead yesterday. Yeah, early on. Yes, yeah. didn't deserve to be ahead. No. And Same with Leeds, I think, in my opinion. And the team that was trailing came. Exactly. The underdogs. Canada can finish the start. Seven, two, seven goals. In two games. For how much money we spent, I think, I think it's well worth it. So, Mark, what are your thoughts on said game? Well, obviously, we win. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. I, I thought we were out of the game until the 70th minute. Well, obviously, we scored. Uh -huh. And that area. But, yeah. Yeah. Fifth, fourth round, sorry. Get ahead I'm of yourself. I want either Yeovil at home, throw it in nice. I'm not easy, can't say an easy tie, but yeah. um, a nicer tie. Or yeah. one of the like more um, old fashioned, not old fashioned, but more well known teams like Old Trafford, um, Emirates, yeah. Anfield. Fair boys. Subscribe to Mark, look at the links in the description. And cheers for having us on. Yeah. See you later. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Back in Birmingham, uh, time to get a train to Glasgow. Trek, absolute trek. A few moments later. We're travelling with Virgin Trains. Uh. Hey! Back in the land of the brave. <laughs> home sweet home. Scotland. Class. No one's going to ridicule us of our accents now. Right, so we arrived at Queen Street. 
I've been greeted with the news that I've got to get a replacement bus from Glasgow Queen Street to Dundee for us wanderers going via Croydon back to Stirling, but oh great, this is amazing. It's like half past twelve. Just then, I'm having a meal. <laughs> oh, I've got college tomorrow, got videos to edit and upload. Well, to be fair, I did a lot of editing on the way up, so I'm quite far ahead actually. Pretty much, Mark gave the full spiel earlier about the game, so I'm just going to leave you here. Yeah. Oofed. But the thing is, the Newport game was almost identical to Peterborough. Sorry, the light it might be better here. Uh, so, I So, I gave an alright spiel, I think, in the Aston Villa Peterborough vlog. So, if you're not, check that out. Check that out now. Link's in the description. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Because I really enjoyed this weekend. It was fantastic. Good to see I'm home now. Christmas tree is away, thank goodness. <laughs> and uh, aye, I'll see you guys in a bit. Don't know when my next video is going to be up. It'll probably be around the grounds for this Saturday. Because I don't know what I'm going to have to upload for the rest of the week. Because I'm busy doing college work. But yeah guys, I'll see you later. Please leave a like down below if you want more of the Sazzy content. If you're a Newport or Leeds fan, uh, drop a comment, say hello, and uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Well, maybe I don't have the answers, but maybe we can find the time. Because there's people crying, people crying every night.